stopped days ago, but families in parts of Wayne County are now dealing with major flooding. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Maggie Newland. And I'm Nick Sturdivant. Right now, the Noose River is at a moderate flood stage near Goldsboro. But as CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco shows us, some families had to flee their homes, and the only way back is by boat. Troubled waters and kind neighbors are nothing new for this small community near Princeton. This is just ordinary for us. When the Noose River overflows, roads here become rivers and boats replace cars. Somebody will stop by and, hey, I need to go to my house. We'll get a boat and go. <laughs> this family fled their home when water started rising on Saturday. When they came back on Sunday to check on their pets and grab some belongings, neighbors like Josh Pipkin and Aaron Bragg had their boats ready. When we got there, the family found their dog Yoni patiently waiting for them on the front porch. Their house surrounded by water, but the owner tells me so far the inside is still dry. Neighbors tell me this type of flooding happens at least once a year. Over in the yard, there's about three feet of water, and where I'm standing, it's at least a foot deep. I hope it don't get in their house, but they're saying it's not going to crest for two more days, so we don't know. When water is released from fall in Jordan Lakes. It flows down the nearby Noose River. They keep the water up there so they can ride their boats and play. And then when it rains bad or hurricane comes, we get this. There's people losing what they have, and it ain't right. I reached out to the Army Corps of Engineers and am waiting for a response back. In Wayne County, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. You feel for those families. One more note, because of the high water and all of the road closures, all Wayne County schools will remain in remote instruction tomorrow. During this time, the school system's transportation is going to work to set up new bus routes. All schools are expected to return to their regular Plan B schedules on Tuesday.